when you have equal opportunities, you use the whole talent and that makes the country really also uh, competitive. People think that, oh, isn't that um, extremely expensive for the state? Don't you have to have very high taxes? The reality is what is expensive is you ha if you have a system where all children uh, don't have an opportunity to have quality education. Just imagine the talent you lose with such a system. And if you look at, for example, the taxes in Norway on income, they're not much higher than in other states or countries where you have to pay um, for the school and there are very divided education uh, system. Ninety-nine percent of children in Finland go to public schools. They have uh, the same opportunities, all children, to have access to quality education. And just imagine what a force this is for a country when we're moving from capitalism to talentism. You're not better than the way uh, you treat your talent, and if you then can uh, give high quality education to all your children, not really use more money um, than other countries, uh, but you use it strategically, I, I think this is a model uh, other countries should learn from. One should not forget that uh, many of the Nordic countries were one of uh, the more poor countries in Europe 100 years ago. So uh, the Nordics started to have a universal free education uh, at least 100 years ago for all children. Then there was a big focus on anti-corruption. So the corruption level is very, very low. Then um, one also included women in the workforce um, much more than in other countries. And of course, if you have uh, 70 80 percent of the population uh, being part of the workforce uh, you also produce more then you can better pay also for a free education uh, free high quality um, uh, health care It's not such a big problem in the Nordic countries because people know that they have a safety system, then they uh, look for another job, and that also changes uh, the structure of the economy much faster. So if a company has to lay off people, it can make the structural changes and people are not that negative to it. And you know, when you're faced with the fourth industrial revolution, you also have to change sometimes. You, don't, you cannot stop uh, the changes because that can negatively impact your competitiveness, but that's much easier to do if you have a safety system. So I think it it is really uh, interesting to see that something that can be seen as a disadvantage is really an advantage also for competitiveness for these economies, provided they do it right. As a Norwegian, I'm not objective, but when Norway celebrates its national day on the 17th of May, there is no military to be seen. There are children in um, uh, primary school uh, in, uh, in the streets with the national flag, national costume, celebrating the national day. It's just a celebration of values, uh, freedom of speech, democracy, um, also um, inclusiveness, uh, and I think this is the positive way of uh, bringing a, a country together. You can be proud of your country, but uh, you know, not this 
beggar your neighbor approach. You, you should not beggar your neighbor, you should prosper your neighbor, and that's also good for you. <laughs>